So first we need a photo of a watercolor brushstroke. I have included a link to the one I'm using in this tutorial, which is a free one from freepick.com. When that is downloaded or you have found your own or even created your own, we are now ready to import it. To do this, go to file, go to place and find the image on your computer. Click place. The link for this one is found down in the description. Let's zoom out so we can see the entire image. So we want to select the image and scale the image down until the brush part has the approximate size that we want. We can also adjust this later. When the image is scaled down, we now want to rasterize our image. To do this, select the image, go to object and go to rasterize. Here we want to make sure that the background is set to transparent and click OK. So now we are ready to vectorize our image to make sure it doesn't lose quality when we scale it up and down. To do this, go to image trace and click at this arrow right next to image trace. Then select high fidelity photo. And depending on how powerful your computer is, this might take a while. For my computer, it takes about a billion years and a launch break. So I will fast forward. Now our image is finally vectorized and while having the image selected, we can now click this button that says expand, then right click the image and click on group. But right now we can see that we still have the white background from the image. So we want to select the white background and to make sure that we have all the white selected, let's go to select, go to same and go to fill color. This will make sure that we have selected everything with this white fill color. Then simply click delete. And just to make sure everything is deleted, let's make a white selection around the brush. So as we can tell right here, I still had some of the background right here. We can only see it when I select it. This might be because that this is a photo and there might have been some shadows on the background, which means that everything on the background wasn't entirely white. Simply just delete this as well. Then make a white selection again to make sure we have everything. The way that the image is traced can be a little bit different from time to time. And in this tracing, it has included some very, very, very light gray color right at the border of the brush. And I don't really like to include that in my brush as it is almost white. So I will select this very light gray color as well and simply click delete. Now I have a more clean brush. So now with our watercolor brush vectorized, we can select the brush, go to the brushes panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find it right here. Then click this button right here that says new brush, select art brush and click OK. In this slider right here, we can adjust the size of our brush. So if we didn't scale it to the correct size at the beginning, we can always scale it up and down right here. But for now, just make sure the stretch to fit stroke length is selected. And for the colorization method, we want to select tints and shades. This will enable us to change the color of the brush. If we don't select this, we can only use this color right here. Then click OK. And now we don't need this anymore. So simply click delete to delete it. So let's try out our new brush. So deselect the fill, select a stroke color that you want. Since watercolor is a physical thing, the result will look more realistic if you use natural colors. Then simply paint with our brush. We can also use it on shapes or any type of path. And if we ever need to adjust the brush, we simply double click the brush. And here we can adjust the size and other settings of our brush. Click OK. Thank you for watching.